Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we discuss about the histology of blood vessels. The first, the large vessel that is also called the elastic artery or the conductance vessel. So we know all the vessels contain the three layers also called tunics. In the tunica intima of the elastic artery, we have the endothelium which is nothing but the squamous epithelium and a connective tissue just beneath the endothelium is called subendothelial connective tissue. It contains some collagen fiber and also the smooth muscles. So one important thing is it is devoid of fibroblast. Okay, the collagen fibers are synthesized by smooth muscle here. In the tunica media, we have a combination of elastic fibers and the smooth muscles. In the bigger vessels, like in the iota, we have plenty of elastic fibers. The elastic fibers which I am writing are wavy and short sheets of elastic fibers. The innermost elastic fibers is also called the internal elastic lamina which is very indistinguishable from the elastic fibers in the media here. We also have smooth muscles but the number is very less. As the diameter of the vessel keep on decreasing, the smooth muscle number will keep on increasing and the elastic fibers keep on decreasing. We have the thickest layer that is the tunica media in the arteries. In the tunica adventitia we also have the loose uh, fibers the collagen elastic here we have fibroblast. We don't have fibroblast in the intima and media the fibers are synthesized by the smooth muscles. Coming to the muscular artery, make sure the lumen you draw is very small because it is a medium sized vessel which is lined with the endothelium which is a flattened epithelium. Here we hardly have subendothelial connective tissue. Sometimes if you see in a microscope, we will directly see the elastic layer, the internal elastic lamina. But when you see in the 40x, you can see the endothelium nucleus. So, subendothelial connective tissue is very less in case of medium sized artery and the internal elastic lamina is very prominent. Coming to the tunica media, we have plenty of smooth muscle here which can regulate the amount of blood going to the structure. Also we have elastic fibers among the smooth muscles. So, make sure the tunica media is the thickest among the three layers. The smooth muscles uh, have a tapering ends and a flat nucleus in the center. As the diameter of the vessel keep on decreasing, they are called arterioles. There we don't get much elastic fibers, only internal elastic lamina will be present. And the number of smooth muscle layer also will be decreased. In the tunica adventitia, it is similar to the large artery. We have a connective tissue, collagen fibers, a fibroblast and vasa vesorum. These are the vessels which supplies the outer part of the tunica media and adventitia. Make sure you write the tunica media thickest among the three layers. Coming to the veins now, the veins have a collapsed lumen. So when you are writing the lumen, the two large vein, write a collapsed lumen but the lumen should be large enough. It will be lined by same endothelium which is nothing but a squamous epithelium with a flat nucleus and a tapering end of the cells. The other part of intima we have subendothelial connective tissue 
before drawing everything you make an outline how much uh, you have to write the intima media and adventitia with a light pencil so after the endothelium you have subendothelial connective tissue you don't have internal elastic lamina in the veins in the tunica media we have a circularly arranged smooth muscle fibers you don't have elastic fibers but you have circularly arranged smooth muscle fibers and in the veins we have a thickest layer is tunica adventitia so make sure you write only the 4 to 5 or 3 to 4 layers of smooth muscles and should be smaller compared to a tunica adventitia in the tunica adventitia of the large vein we have a bundles of smooth muscles which are running longitudinally so when you take a section of the smooth muscle sometimes the section can go through center of the new cell or it can go to the periphery so you can write the smooth muscle section of any size it can be if it passes through the center it is larger if it passes through in the periphery it is smaller any size and you have to keep the nucleus for the larger one so if the section passes through the center you will see the nucleus otherwise you may not see the nucleus so you need not keep nucleus for all the muscle fiber sections the one you have drawn bigger please keep the nucleus which is centrally placed and round because it's a longitudinal section this is a very peculiar feature of a large vein also you have vas deferens coming to the medium sized vein they have a very narrow lumen and make sure you write the collapsed lumen too so the lining of the lumen is nothing but the endothelium squamous epithelium and small amount of subendothelial connective tissue also will be present so endothelium and subendothelial connective tissue constitute the tunica intima in the tunica media we have a circularly arranged smooth muscles it is similar to the large vein but the number of layers of smooth muscles are very less you can write one or two layers of smooth muscles in the medium sized vein the tunica adventitia is larger all the veins the tunica adventitia is the largest layer but here it doesn't contain any smooth muscle it just contain the connective tissue with collagen fiber elastic fibers vas deferens and you have to write nuclei of fibroblasts no smooth muscle bundles it is seen only in the large vein so how was how you like the video please subscribe to my channel